of the cross on which hung the salvation of the world. Come, let us adore. The liturgical celebration of the Passion of the Lord begins with one of two opening prayers, collects, the second of which begins as follows. O God, who by the Passion of Christ your Son, our Lord, abolished the death inherited from ancient sin by every succeeding generation, grant that just as being conformed to him, we have borne by the law of nature the image of the man of earth, so by the sanctification of grace, we may bear the image of the man of heaven. This language of image is both radically biblical and provides us with one of several different perspectives by which to gaze upon the Paschal mystery. An image taken most broadly is an imitative expression of something. It's a representation, a representation of something. Man was created in the image and likeness of God. Through the sin of Adam, the man of earth, and our own sins, that image has become disfigured. And so Christ, who is the image of God, the perfect expression of the Father, consubstantial with the Father, right, takes that spiritually disfigured image to himself and now uses it to communicate most eloquently most perfectly, that eternal image of the Father's love for the world, the Son. Now, disruption is the disfigurement of time. Our lives, obviously, have been temporally disfigured, and our liturgical lives as well. We won't all be able to gather and hear our Lord's passion sung, nor kneel for the solemn intercessions, nor kiss the image of the crucified one. But in this very disfigurement to our lives, I propose to you we discover the power of the cross on an even more intense spectrum. For the cross, for the cross is not the disruption of life, the life suspended until it might resume again its favorable course. Rather, the cross is life. The cross is life. The disruption of life becomes the conduction of life. The disfigured image of God in his sons and daughters now unveils the perfect image of God in the Son. That the most grotesque, that the most disfigured, that the, the collapse of all my, my intentions, my, my plans, my, my expectations, can be transformed by God into, into the most beautiful. Truly that leaves one speechless. Come, let us adore.